A U.N. spokesperson says the team of inspectors looking into the alleged use of chemical weapons last Wednesday near Damascus have wrapped up their probe, but Martin Nasursky says analysis of the samples should not be rushed. The samples that have been collected will be taken uh, to be analyzed in designated laboratories, and the intention is, of course, to expedite uh, the analysis of that uh, sampling that's been taken. But we have to be very clear here that the mission, before the mission can draw any conclusions about uh, this uh, incident, uh, the evaluation of all available information, including the laboratory analysis of all samples, must be completed. The UN inspectors in Syria have been gathering samples since Monday and may already have some results after testing them at a hotel in Damascus. With the world watching and a U.S.-led strike on hold, the inspectors are under extreme pressure to make sure their findings stand up to the most intense scrutiny. They will try to establish only whether chemical weapons were used, but not who used them. Washington says it is convinced Syrian government forces were behind the August 21st attack, but many governments are awaiting the U.N. findings before drawing conclusions about responsibility. The team of inspectors, including three World Health Organization medical experts, plans to leave Syria on Monday morning.